So the next topic is complex low pass representation of band pass system. One of the question asked frequently is derive the expression for the complex low pass representation of band pass system which is asked for 8 marks June July 2018 December January 2020. Okay. So starting off the derivation the complex low pass representation of band pass systems. Now you are going to deal with your band pass system. So you are considering that you are going to apply your band pass signal which is band limited or narrow band signal which is having a uh, w less the condition is w less than fc right the message signal less than that of your carrier frequency which will be, which is given to an lti system linear time invariant system which is having an impulse response of h of t and the output is y of t now you uh, you can represent this h of t in terms of canonical representation or a standard form representation in terms of your in phase and quadrature component how just similar to that of which we have seen in the last video here your uh, band pass impulse response h of t can be represented in terms of two quadrature low pass components h i of t and h q of t so this is nothing but your canonical representation right so what is your canonical representation h of t is equal to h i of t into cos 2 pi f c t minus h q of t into sin 2 pi f c t let us take that as equation 1 now the complex impulse response so, so what is the complex so we have studied in the last video we have studied uh, three uh, different sections right we have started off with Hilbert transform which is represented by x cap next we have gone to your pre envelope which is represented by x suffix plus and then we have come to your complex complex is represented usually by tilde okay so here we are going to deal with the complex impulse response so what will be your uh, formal uh, symbol h tilde of t the complex impulse response h tilde of t of the band pass system is represented in terms of quadrature component as in phase and well, this is your in, in terms of your cartesian or rectangular form what will be your formula h tilde of t is equal to h i of t plus j into h q of t so this is your cartesian form okay so let us take this as equation 2 now you can you are going to represent this h of t in terms of h tilde of t how can you represent h of t in terms of h tilde of t is i can write that h of t is equal to a real part of h tilde of t into e power j 2 pi f c t okay that is taken as equation 3 now why i did write why did i write like this you know already h of t is equal to h i t into cos 2 pi f c t minus h q 2 in uh, q of t into sin 2 pi f c t so for example if i substitute this h of t you are going to get this value in terms of real part of h tilde of t into e power j 2 pi f c t so if i do the simplification here i am taking real part of h of t is equal to real part of what is h tilde of t h i of t plus j into h q of t right into e power j 2 pi f c t instead of e power 2 j Mm, uh, sorry e power j 2 pi f c t i can substitute it as cos 2 pi f c t plus j sin 2 pi f c t right okay so cross multiply it inside what you will be getting h i of t into cos 2 pi f c t h i of t into j sin 2 pi f c t then j h q of t into cos 2 pi f c t j into j which is equal to j square minus 1 so minus h q of t into sin 2 pi f c t so you if you take the real part what you will be getting imaginary part will get cancelled so the real term will be h i of t into cos 2 pi f c t minus h q of t into sin 2 pi f c t which is nothing but your equation 1 that's why we have written it as h of t can also be expressed in terms of complex impulse response as real part of h tilde of t into e power j 2 pi f c t okay so this is since here it is e power j 2 pi f c t it is for positive frequency this is taken as equation 3 the same can be written for your negative frequency what will be the only difference instead of a e power j 2 pi f c t the value will be e power minus j 2 pi f c t that is what written here now for negative frequency what you are going to take you are going to take the complex conjugate okay so what will be your uh, complex conjugate x tilde you are going to give the conjugate symbol here so h of t is equal to real part of instead of h tilde of t here you are going to replace it by the complex conjugate 
okay conjugate symbol is also added into e power there it was plus here it is minus e power minus j 2 pi f c t which is taken as equation 4 this is for negative frequency now in the left hand side you have got in both the equations you have got h of t right when you add both the equation 3 and 4 you can get your complex and you can get your h of t okay so what what is your first equation h of t so third equation h of t is equal to real part of h tilde of t into e power j 2 pi f c t right so when you add this along with your fourth equation what you will be getting h of t plus h of t 2 h of t into h tilde of t into e power j 2 pi f c t plus h tilde conjugate of t complex conjugate into e power minus j 2 pi f c t let me take this as equation 5 okay so from this so adding 3 and 4 you are getting this equation now when you apply the Fourier transform to equation 5 what will be your equation here so taking Fourier transform 2 into h of t will give you h of f so h tilde of t into e power j 2 pi f c t so there will be a frequency translation right so h tilde of f minus f c this is for positive frequency what will be happening in this case it will be h tilde conjugate of uh, f plus f c but here there is one more property and using the complex conjugation property using complex conjugation property what is the rule your complex conjugated pro uh, conjugation property implies that your Fourier transform of a x conjugate of t is equal to x of minus f okay so your phase is different so x conjugate of t is equal to x of minus f so what will be uh, the formula here h tilde of tilde conjugate of minus of f plus f c okay this is what you will be getting so that's why it is written here as h tilde of conjugate of minus f minus f c <clears throat> so that is taken as equation 6 so this will be your main equation 2 h of f is equal to h tilde of f minus f c plus h tilde conjugate of minus f c minus f c minus f minus fc this is taken as equation 6 so we, since we are going to deal only with positive frequency why what is the reason the complex envelope here you are uh, your, it will be your low pass frequency response right so it will be your response will be it, uh, it is frequency translated and with the center frequency 0 so it is nothing but your low pass representation so you can take only you can consider only your positive frequency so this above equation can be written as positive frequency for f greater than 0 can be written as h tilde of f minus fc is equal to 2 into h of f so where h tilde of f minus fc is the complex low pass frequency response and h of f is equal to ba your band pass frequency response so you have got your complex low pass frequency response h tilde of f minus fc okay so from now you are go just going to write it in terms of your uh, theoretical so therefore the complex low pass frequency response of the linear time invariant system is obtained by taking the band pass frequency response h of f for positive frequency shifting it to the origin and scaling its amplitude by a factor of 2 the same equations has been given has been elaborated it theoretically okay so the complex this there is an alternative method the complex low pass frequency response can be expressed in in phase and quadrature component as h tilde of f is equal to so this is in general uh, you are going to frequency response in terms of your Cartesian coordinate system so what will be your uh, formula h tilde of is f is equal to h tilde i of f that is your in phase and your quadrature component so where your h tilde of i of f is equal to 1 by 2 into h tilde of f plus h tilde conjugate of minus f and h tilde of q of f is equal to 1 by 2 j into h tilde of f minus j h complex conjugate of minus f okay so when you if you take the inverse Fourier transform you will you can get h tilde of t right so where uh, if you take the inverse Fourier transform you will be getting as h tilde of t is equal to minus infinity to infinity h tilde of f into e power j 2 pi f t into df the general equation